Peggy 18. Hey, what's going on? I'm Zach Cooper, your Splinter Cell community developer, and this is what we're calling the Ghost Playthrough. Briggs, Jadita's in the upper village. Look for satellite dishes. Got it. Standing by for you going, Xville. Sam, Homeland Security can't find a blacklist target. We're down to hours before the attack. Copy. All right, so what we're going to do right now is show you a few things that you didn't see in the Blacklist demos from E3 or Gamescom. Just so we get some of the formalities out of the way, everything you are witnessing here is in a pre-alpha state. Some of the AI mechanics are really early, the non-lethal animations haven't been added to this build, and that's probably something else we should mention. The demo that you've seen is exactly that, a demonstration designed to show off some key elements, like killing in motion and support from the newly formed 4th Echelon team. We're going to avoid those elements and show you some alternate pathways and a bunch of other cool things, but we'll get there in a bit. All right, so this guy's obviously busy washing his hands. It's not getting in the way of good hygiene. Let's go around. So what we can see here, we've got three enemies over there by the truck, at least one further back, and then there's the hand washer to our right. Let's try and go at this from a different angle. We wait for an opportunity to move. Take a look at Sam Fisher, the sweet job the animation team at Ubisoft Toronto has done. Sam's always aware of his surroundings. Now look at that. Cliff. Now this cliff side will provide a great way to get around the bend and avoid all those bad guys. In fact, let's take a look and see exactly what we missed. Alright, we found another cliffside, and with it, the opportunity for some more sneakiness. But you watch the original demo in that top right corner while we get into position for our next move. That was killing in motion. And we're not going to do it. Let's try and do this quietly. Sam, I'm seeing half a dozen soldiers in a high caliber technical across that bridge. Could get loud. Not if we don't let it. Back to the sneaky sneaky. All right, we appear to be in good shape. Let's see the damage report. So in the original demo, we took out seven guys using an abduction takedown in the tent before we went on a killing in motion tear, which ended with that badass Mozambique drill. In this ghost playthrough, on the other hand, we left them all standing. It's your choice. Do as you wish. You've heard us talking about variety of gameplay, and it is most definitely in there. We'll get to share more of all the play styles in our coming communications. In the interim, let's see what's brewing on the other side of this cliff. Just hope you're not afraid of heights. Okay, so as you can see, as you may know, dogs are indeed back, and they can be pretty tough to deal with. Let's uh, let's try to get by without having to take them out. There. All right. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let's use our goggles now just to make sure. Alright, so the dog seems to have found something else. In the original demo, we went to our right over there, so let's stick to the left. <laughs> Alright, as long as we don't get detected by the dog. Alright, so he's heading toward where we just came from, meaning it's time for us to move or the dog could track our scent and then subsequently alert the guards. Jadid's on his way. Secure the area. You, anything moves, shoot him. Keep the machine gun secure. The rest of you, start a sweep. Grim, technical in the plaza. Looks like an armed escort to pull Jadid out. Copy. Truck is targeted. On your go. 
So just like in the original demo, the truck has been targeted. Whether you want to use the assistance from Grimm is obviously up to you. Let's not this time around. Okay, one thing I can show you, due to our pacing this time around, is moving bodies. Non-lethal animations weren't yet added to the build, which is why we had to kill that guy. Let's just make sure the coast is clear before we hide the evidence. <laughs> Alright, that was close. Uh, let's get this guy outside. All right, here should do, and uh, because they're doing patrols, let's just go ahead and close this door to cover our tracks. So instead of going into a firefight, perhaps using some <coughs> blind fire, let's once again find another way around. Now, you may not have seen it at first, but a little exploration goes a long way. That's the truck right there, and by this point, that fire for effect window for connect or your controller will be long gone, even if the truck remains. All right, so onwards and upwards. We still got to get to Jadid's hideout. All right, now that we're on the roof and in a pretty safe spot, let's look at the casualties once again. In the original demo, 12 enemies were killed while two got zapped by the sticky shocker in the water. In this ghost playthrough, we killed one bad guy simply for the sake of showing you moving and, more importantly, hiding bodies. There wasn't any of that at E3 or Gamescom. The original demo, we showed off the airstrike. This time around, we decided to let Grimm just sweat it out. Now, like a lot of the other things you've seen here, the goggles are still a work in progress, still being tweaked, but you at least get to see how the pulses work for now. Let's rappel down and say hello, shall we? We hope you've enjoyed this alternate take and the demo you've already seen. Let us know your thoughts. Facebook.com slash Splinter Cell, at Splinter Cell on Twitter, also the forums, forums.ub.com.